So in light of the pandemic, my uh, organization decided off the bat that our team would be working from home. So I've been working from home for the past six weeks. And whereas I was like, yeah, working from home, I'd have to go out, I'd have to comb my hair, I'd have to cream my skin or whatever. I won't be using up much products. It's actually kind of been the opposite. I've actually started using up my products more. Not sure why, but they're going on a lot faster. So of course, with my products going down faster, I have a lot of empties. So today's video is gonna be talking about, I'm gonna be showing you guys rather, my quarantine empties. Hey guys, it's your Chanel, aka Nelly B. And let me explain. When I say quarantine empties, I don't mean products that were completely full that have completely been diminished in the past six weeks rather products that i had been using from that just so happened to finish since i've been working from home i've broken them down they're right over here i've broken them down into hair care facial care and body care and while the majority of it the vast majority belongs to me my husband has a couple empties in the mix too so i'll highlight which ones are his so i'm going to start off with the smaller groups of products so the first group i want to talk about is the facial care products and the first product in that is the andalu naturals men refreshing face wash this is a face wash that jason used up i also contributed to it being used up because i was curious i wanted to try it we both really liked it it foams well it definitely got rid of any dirt and grime etc off of your face but it didn't leave your face feeling too dry so this is probably gonna be a repurchase for us when we're able to get to body treats and goodies it's a spa and chase village they're the ones who provided us with this product the next one is the Himalaya Refreshing and Clarifying Toner. I absolutely loved this toner and I definitely do plan on getting it again. I could get this at Pennywise if I remember correctly. It does retail at Pennywise. The third facial care product is the Luminada. This is from Mistura Cosmetics. It is a illuminating moisturizer i really liked how this felt on my skin the only thing about it is that i think this is probably geared more towards uh someone a little lighter complexion because the luminate the illuminating rather effect of it looks a little pink on me whereas i mean if i'm glowing i'm going gold baby so i do like how it felt on my skin i have to find out if it even retails here because this is a canadian brand the next facial care product is the nature's complement anti-wrinkle cream I actually did a collaboration um, with them on my blog uh, i got a whole bunch of their products for uh, facial and body care and for the home i really liked how this cream um worked in my laugh lines i you know i love to smile i love to laugh so i started getting like the laugh lines i still have them but i did notice over time the difference in how my laugh lines would look uh during the day when i had a makeup and i didn't have one makeup so i really do like this product and the last two facial care products that i got were from sherry approved these are the advanced clinical vitamin c anti-aging serum i would use this in the day and the course de baja uh rs retinol serum i would use this in the night sherry I, I, I need stuff i will reach out to you very soon because i definitely need myself a top up so that was the facial stuff on to the body stuff this degree deodorant this is done. Degrees of deodorant, no worries. My Thai Crystal Deodorant Mist. And it's a good thing I bought two of these because I absolutely love this. It's aluminum free. It's a deodorant, it's not an antiperspirant. And it's natural, so it's really good for your arms. It doesn't clog your pores. Um, sometimes, I don't know, you know your body chemistry changes during the month she depending on your cycle so i had to like float between the two of them to make sure you're not smelling you know a little green when the day comes but these two finished on me thankfully i have a backup of this one so i'm good to go but sherry i'll still be reaching out to you also to get me one of these because i need to top up as well the rest of body care stuff are lotions and butters so we have the sugar cane ruku lotion from zoedan my husband 
he finishes out he really liked it he liked the scent he liked the consistency he was good with this the island boy organics ezra fitch for him body butter although it's for him this was mine jason would use it on an occasion but i love the smell of this it smells like a really nice cologne and the smell lasted really long and my skin always felt very moisturized the other body lotion is the pineapple ginger whipped custard body souffle blah, <laughs> pineapple ginger whipped custard body souffle cream this is from bakura i got this at val rosa let me tell you something so this it is it feels thick when you're like dipping into the jar but it's really light when you apply it to the skin it lasts long and oh does it smell so good it really does smell good and now that the facial care and body care out of the way onto the big kahuna the hair care stuff so let's start with my co-washes the two co-washes that i finished during the uh quarantine lockdown or when we work from home season is the carol's daughter hair milk nourishing and conditioning cleansing conditioner and the mixtures j green tea and hibiscus moisturizing co-wash these two are very effective at what they do i use them interchangeably my hair enjoyed them both they were really quick or really helpful rather for when you just want like a quick wash day like in between let's say uh i know for some reason oh i was in the pool and after i washed my hair i wasn't ready to do the whole wash day so i did a really quick co wash after i came out of the pool and that held me over until my hair was uh ready for my wash day. rather i was ready for my wash day deep conditioners i've used up three of my deep conditioners um during the course of the past six weeks and the first one is the carol's daughter coco creme curl quenching deep moisture mask my hair likes this a whole lot so i definitely enjoyed using this deep conditioner i just found that sometimes i had to use a little too much to get my hair to feel what i wanted it to feel but other than that it was really good the other two are two local brands we have the Pera organic flaxseed and lavender moisturizing deep conditioning paste and the kiki ever naturals deep fix hydrating deep conditioner i use these interchangeably i even mixed the two of them and i found them both very effective for my wash day what i will say though is that with the Pera organics it works better for me when i use other Pera organics products in my hair which i did um use for the most part for the Kiki Ever Naturals, I do, I really like this deep conditioner. I really do. It's spreading my hair like butter. I just felt that in order for it to get uh, to get the desired feel for my hair, I had to use heat. I have this uh, thermal cap that I use. So that was fine. So it's not like if, um, oh my gosh, it didn't work for anything like that. I just had to use a little bit of heat with this one in particular. So on to leave-in and like refresher sprays. So this is where the top of this going though. So this is the this is from Zoe Eden the Liberal Opposer hairspray. So it's like a spritz, and it was also it worked like a detangler for me. And let me tell you something. This thing, oh, it still get the scent in the bottle. It smells like almost like sugar cane that's how it smelled to me at least and this thing was so awesome and refreshing any product you would have had in your hair before it was also actually pretty good to detangle with as well you see this croissants hair moisture therapy like you see this or you see this or you see this yo this is big like this is one of my local holy grail moisturizers and it done the bottle empty as you can see there's no dregs no nothing because i made sure and i use every single drop i need to go back to pennywise and get me one of these i finished off two of my oils um because i've been doing quite a bit of hot oil treatments uh, my hair has um i've really noticed the difference in my hair since i've been doing hot oil treatments so the first one is the 
she naturals this is out to saint lucia day three in one hair growth oil steam oil or moisture sealant this one finished really quick because i've been using it as a hot oil treatment as well as the oil in my loc as well as just using it on my scalp when i felt like it and the main choice uh, multivitamin scalp nourishing growth oil i really like how this felt on my scalp so i use this of course it's a scalp oil so i use this a lot on my scalp admittedly it kind of got lost in the back of other stuff so it was almost done anyway so when i was like moving around or rotating my products which i do often i was like okay let me finish this up and last but not least the gels i finished off an eco styler olive share black castor and flaxseed aka the gold eco styler and my husband finished off the black castor and flaxseed this one it's the black one no this isn't the black one i don't know i can't keep up with them but these are the ones that we used up um in the past couple weeks or so he has a backup of this one so he's good to go i don't have a backup of this one however i'm currently trying out their cbd infused um styling gel and so far it's, it's interesting to say the least it's been working so yeah i also finished up a wet line extreme and i want to do a demo slash review on this sometime in the future if i can get my hands on it pennywise has been scarce so hopefully i can get my hands on it sometime soon so i could do that for you guys and then the last one but not least is the just curls just gel this is a flaxseed based gel what i like about this is that it's very moisturizing however it is not a gel that will give you hold you'll get a little bit of definition because the flaxseed will clump your curls up but you're not gonna worry about this drying or crunching out your hair um i've had to use it sparingly because i felt that it left my hair at times a bit too moisturized so you know your hair just feels kind of floppy and i don't particularly like that feeling for my hair so i would use it sparingly but a little bit goes a long way so you really have to kind of toy with it to see how much works for you to get the desired effect that you want and that is it that is my quarantine empties overall um out of all the products i would probably repurchase all of them um none of them were like oh my gosh this isn't working i'm never buying or trying this again i did always find some way to use those products all of them in my hair face skin uh in a way that was effective for me so would i repurchase them yeah i think i pretty much repurchased most if not all of them um they were all like i said pretty decent if not excellent in my hair care skin care etc so let me know in the comments guys have you guys been using up especially those of you who are uh, at home have you guys been using up your products more or less is it just me let me know now because i'm just here trying to work out the math of how come all of a sudden my products are going down and it's not to say that i could blame jason for it all the time i can't because i know that it is me <laughs> i know that it is me but i'll probably try to blame him anyway so that's it for my quarantine empties video guys i implore you please continue to practice proper hygiene wash your hands hand sanitize wear your mask practice proper social distancing um if you don't need to go somewhere don't go let's just try to do what we have to do so we can get past this pandemic right so what empties do you guys have let me know leave a comment don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care and God bless. Bye.